Hello, hello, beautiful people. Uh, Iga malam gingu le Muhammad. Um, so kache kache u Pastor Ngodima was trying to tell the people that le Kenyan is a witch. Uh, listening to this testimony, before the lady can start uh, talking, she said he said he told the lady to put on the CC badge on her. This woman is talking about uh, Sister Mugalapa. Sister Mugalapa is Sister Magali, uh, Brother Mbanyani's ex, ex-lover. Now, apparently, Sister Mugalapa was supposed to get married to Brother Mbanyani. But then, these witches mixed their herbs and then gave them to Ukoni, the lady that is uh, giving testimonies daughter, to go to Brother Mbanyani and ask for love. Guys, is that, is, is that possible or normal? I think we are used of boys proposing girls, not girls proposing boys. From there, I think it was a, a red flag. Mpanyani was supposed to ask himself so many questions. Am I so handsome that even ladies come to me and tell me how they love me to reach a point that they even got married? But then Muti worked. So the reason Ukoni was uh, asking love from Mpanyani is because Mpanyani was a target. Brother Mpanyani was a target. They wanted to use him underworld. They even wanted his money. The lady just said it with with his with her own mouth, guys. So Kasha Kasha Ukoni Lona was a underworld child. She was a snake in short, but then came out as a a a, a, a woman being outside. Tumpanyan. After all, he was already married and world, also having, having kids. So when it comes to this point, when it says, Brother Mbanyani didn't kill the wife, the wife's time was over. Remember, J. Israel once said it, or in that day, Makado, he once said, uh, when you go to the cult, there is a limited time for you to live. So, this proves to what uh, Koni's mom is saying right now that her daughter's life was over. Le She was supposed to go back to underworld where she is from, and those kids. So to our to us, but uh, we thought the lady died. Can't you know she didn't die? She went back to. To her, to her home, which is underworld. Taba ina ya batu bana ba yang for for powers and fame. Whatever they carry from there, when they appear to us, people who are not uh, in those cars, we see them like they are still normal. Can't you? Sometimes they are not themselves. Maybe the snake living in her in in him, but. Now we see them as uh, people we knew like before, but they changed. Now they are rich, they are beautiful, they can do this and that. So this means when they die, they will die like anybody. They, it, it won't be a story like how come she died like this and that. There, there is this guy from Zimbabwe. Is it Ogimbi or what? There were rumors that he was in a cult. So he died in a car accident. But people started talking after his death that apparently the guy was in, in cults, so his time was over. So he didn't die like uh, whatever he was uh, under, but he died a normal death that anybody can die. So that we can maybe be brainwashed or not have a proof or understand what uh -uh, it's an underworld death. That's how it goes. But when it comes to Mbanyani's uh, story and Kony, you see Mbanyani saw a snake, and then after the snake turned into a, a human being, which is his wife, 
So it's something else. It's witchcraft uh, on another level, guys. So, Umama Kakoni also says they practice witchcraft with ZCC's members. Meaning, ZCC and, like, no, let me not say ZCC. Lekhanyan, leader of ZCC and Ngodima are witches. They are underworld gang, those two men, and others. Because there is no way your people can become witches and you are not a witch. The leader is the witch. Because if he can see, as he claims to have powers and all those things, he could see that there is something wrong in my church. There are witches in this church. They work together with uh, uh, Ngodima's people underworld. Also, if he is not a witch, why didn't he come out to say uh, uh, Ngodima is trying to tarnish his name, Ngodima is trying to mess up his life by saying he knows that uh, Ngodima is a um, boss underworld, well, even Satan is, is scared of him. Why did Lekhanyani not come out to defend himself? And people are busy there clapping their hands when Ngodima says, um, when Koni's mom says, Pastor Ngodima is there underworld. Even Satan is afraid of him. Why were people clapping hands? Are they clapping hands because they are witches? So they are happy that their leader, their underworld leader, is so powerful that even Satan himself is afraid of him. So this is very dangerous, guys. We follow people thinking that they are taking us straight to to God. But at the end of the day, we don't know where they report. We don't know the secret behind the scene. Right now, there are people who went to Ngodima's church thinking there is God there. Can't you know? That is a witch uh, foundation. Which is foundation? I don't know. Which is stock fell or something? Because every time when people give out their testimonies, it's always about witchcraft. It's not about Jesus did this, I saw this and that. No, it's always uh, witchcraft promoting uh, this Ngodima, uh, like Samagalong was saying, that the pastor called her, he even got 200 somewhere. The pastor came and told, uh, Pastor Ngodima came and told him about her stuff that are supposed to be collected at uh, ZCC from Moses. It's all about Ngodima. It's all about witchcraft. What is happening? Hmm? What is really happening? So, uh, oh, Mamaga Koni. Koni is Mpanyane's wife. Planned all this for her daughter to get to Mpanyan so that they can get Mpanyan. But fortunately, they failed. God is good all the time. Now, uh, the, the lawyer, Mweli, uh, Mwemedi Kapalikweta, La Mpanyan right now is Simagaleng's, which is Miss Sister Mukalab, is Simagaleng's new husband. And he's also, he also goes to Ngodima's church. He's under this witchcraft. Will you say I'm wrong if I can say uh, Ngodima refused to go to the court to, court to testify? He refused because he knew that once uh, Mbanyan comes out of the prison, his uh, tricks and all the stuff that he's doing, witchcraft, might go down. Because you can see Mbanyan was a target. Now, he even decided to find a lawyer by himself. But I wonder what came to Mbanyan's family's uh, minds. This person, Ngodima, refused to go to the court. At the same time, Jiki Jiki, he's the one that is organizing the lawyer. Why didn't that came to their mind that this person is behind all this? Why didn't they look for their own lawyer and leave the pastor out of this? Because they could see that, no, this person is happy. The pastor is happy 
to Simbanyan in jail. Maybe he couldn't do whatever he wanted to do that much at church because of Mbanyan. Mbanyan was a threat to Ngodima. But then the family decided to, to listen to him and even accept the lawyer that is organized by, uh, by him. I think if that uh, lawyer is the same lawyer that is still working on that case right now, they must change the lawyer. Please, guys, Mbanyan's family, change the lawyer. Otherwise, Mbanyan won't come out. He won't come out because once he comes out, I think more scary stuff are going to come out from this uh, Ngodima guy. So apparently here, uh, Ngodima was trying to expose Ole Khanyan. He was trying to open people's eyes is that this Lekhanyan that you are thinking is a man of God. He is not. He is he's also an underworld gang. So Sister Mugalapa's kids also died. I don't know if it was miscarriages or whatever. But then, the purpose of these kids was to go underworld and help Mamukebe. I think Mamukebe is a, a snake that lives in the underground, that spirit, to help that mamu gave underworld. Uma Magakoni says they didn't know where those kids went. What they knew is that they were under, uh, they were with mamu gave helping him. But one day when they were in the meeting, those kids were with Pastor Ngodima. Does this mean Pastor Ngodima is mamu gave? Because they didn't know where these kids are. But at the same time, when they were in the meeting, the kids are with uh, Mr. Ngodima. What does that tell you? Guys, this is very, very deep. Please open your eyes. Open your eyes and ears to hear this very, very... Also pray. Because if you, dis you listen to this with your normal uh, ears and eyes, you won't hear anything. You will just keep on laughing and think it's a joke. It's not a joke. It's very, very deep. Ngodima is Satan himself. Who Satan like Ngodima? Also, Ole Khanyan. So Magalian's mom gave birth at the river. My question is, who, who asked the Magalian's mom to go to the river and give birth there? And after that, she died. People find, found her dead. The child was, was alone there, which is the Magalian. Who helped this woman there at the river? Because, guys, we know giving birth is not a child's play. You need help there. How come this woman survived to give birth? And I wonder, was the child wrapped with something or she was just like that? And what happened with everything that, uh, the stuff that came out when she was giving birth? You know, in Africa, here in Africa, we know how those uh, things that comes out from the woman when she gives birth are used in uh, underworld or for witchcraft. They are so dangerous. They will even tell you that... Uh, you must make sure that those stuff are safe and anybody that helps you, make sure that it's the person that you trust. So when it comes to Samakale, who was in charge of all that thing and who took out those, who took the things that came out and what did the person do with those things? It's very, very scary. Maybe that is why Samakale was used everywhere. Samakale, this Samakale, Samakale, this. They were in charge of her because they had her things. Because every child, when they come out, they come out with their stuff. When the mother uh, becomes pregnant again, more stuff will come out. It's not like uh, she will just come out with nothing and then the mother will wait and get pregnant again. Uh -uh. They come out with their stuff. Maybe Smagaling had connection with those things that we don't know where they went after she was born. That is why these witches were connected to her and using her the way they wanted to. I wonder where she is now, Usamagalin, and how she's coping about all this. Is she out of this Ngodima's church or she's still there? I don't know, but I'm wishing her the best. I wish God can see her and take her out of all this uh, mess. Thank you so much. Let's meet in the comment section, guys. Uh, love you all. My name is Lemaha.